I teamed up with my friend Llama from the manager seat. Hello. And we scoured every corner of Football Manager to find a fun save in literally every country in the world. And we're starting in Australia with a club that's not in Australia. The Wellington Phoenix, who, if you're wondering, they're my namesake, they play in New Zealand. They're the only New Zealand club in the Australian A-League, and they've never won it. So what an opportunity to topple Australian tyranny. So next, let's go to China and to Guangzhou. And thank you, Zealand, for giving me the tough teams to print out. But Guangzhou are the most successful team in Chinese football. We're talking eight national titles, two Asian Champions Leagues, but they fell on hard times. In 2022, they were relegated to the bottom division in Football Manager because of financial irregularities. What a place for you to start your save with the most successful club in the nation, but starting in the bottom division. Then right next door to Hong Kong, which is of course a separate league in Football Manager. And there we recommend Hong Kong FC. They are the oldest surviving club in Hong Kong and have existed since the beginning of time at least the 1800s, but they haven't won the top flight of Hong Kong in 103 years. So can you be the person to finally bring them to glory the, the, for the first time in anyone's living memory? Is somebody older than 103? Ah, Maria Branyas Marrera. She is 116 and vividly remembers Hong Kong FC's last title. Can you provide her another memory? Next, we're off to India and Kashmir FC, where in 2014 floods struck the region of Kashmir killing hundreds and devastating the local area. Well, two local businessmen started a football club and they became the first team from this region to reach India's top flight. That's the only division playable in Football Manager. In real life, they're managed by former Football Manager wonder kid Gifton Noel Williams, but they've never won the Indian title. What a save it could be if you were to guide them to their first. We continue our trip around Asia in Indonesia, and this is where I get my first crack at a difficult club to pronounce. Persipura Jayapura. And Mama, I didn't even look freaking thing. Eye contact. Persipura Jayapura, one of the most successful clubs in Indonesian league history. Unthinkably, last year they were relegated. So if you take over them this year, they're in the lowest playable league in Indonesia. Okay, let's head to Malaysia next. And the club is Saba. And what a save this could be because aside from the east of Malaysia has never been the champions of the country. Saba are based there. This is your opportunity to win a first league title, not just for this club, at this whole region of the country. And right next door to Malaysia, there's Singapore. And in the Singaporean league, there is a club called Alberex Niigata. Now, while you can't play in Japan in Football Manager, this is the closest that you can get. I know what you're thinking. Singapore's not right next to Japan on a map, but Alberex Niigata is a satellite club of the same club in Japan playing in Singapore. So they developed Japanese talents in the Singaporean League and they won the Singaporean League last year. So can you actually rise to the level of your parent club in Japan with Alberex Niigata in Singapore using Japanese talents? <gasps> but if you're looking for an epic save, let's find one in South Korea. And the club suggestion is FC Seoul. Now, six different sides from South Korea have won the Asian Champions League. FC Seoul have been to two finals, but they lost them both. One of them, they were defeated on penalties. The other, they lost on away goals. That's two finals they've been to and they didn't lose any of them in regular time. Maybe you could take charge of FC Seoul and guide them to continental glory for the very first time. That's it for all of the leagues in Asia. So now we turn our attention to Africa, where there is exactly one league in Football Manager in South Africa. And in that league, the Kaiser Chiefs are the team to play with. See, the Mamelodi Sundowns, they've won six consecutive league titles, 13 overall, where the Kaiser Chiefs have only won four South African Premier League titles, and they've never won the African Champions League. But while that's an intriguing challenge, the real reason to pick the Kaiser Chiefs is because for some unbelievable reason, they play in a 95,000 seat stadium. So I say you've completed the save if you sell out that stadium with 95,000 people while winning an African Champions League. Okay, Zealand, grab that passport. Let's jump on that plane because from Africa, we're heading to North America next and Canada first. And our save suggestion is Vancouver FC. They play in the Canadian Premier League 
Don't confuse them with Vancouver Whitecaps, who play in Major League Soccer. Now these two sides will never face off domestically, but they could in the CONCACAF Champions League. So your mission, take control of Vancouver FC and win them the CONCACAF Champions League before the Whitecaps beat you to it. If you're looking for a warmer challenge, you can head down to Mexico and take over Chivas Guadalajara. They are essentially the athletic Bilbao of Mexico. You can only sign domestic players, but like Bilbao, it's led to a lot of historic success. They've won 12 league titles, but those titles have now become less frequent. So can you restore Guadalajara, the beacon of Mexican domestic play? to glory. Okay, let's round out North America by heading back north to the United States and Major League Soccer, where our save suggestion is St. Louis City, or as Zealand would say, St. Louis City, where we have got a club that offer the unique opportunity to take charge of a side who are newly formed. You would take charge of them during their first ever season of football. You literally get to write your own history. How cool a save would that be? Well, I think that'd be mighty fine, Llama. <laughs> There's one more save you can do in North America, and that is in the country of Zealand. All you have to do to succeed at that save is subscribe. Harder than it sounds. There's a lot of mouse movement and... But it is greatly appreciated. Alas, there are only three leagues in North America in Football Manager, so we have to head to South America to find more fun saves. And we start in Argentina with a club called Guillermo Brown, which is named after a former Irish admiral. Now, Guillermo Brown's in the second division of Argentina, but it does hold the distinction of being the southernmost club in all of Football Manager. So can you bring a Patagonian club to glory? Let's talk rivals and head from Argentina to Brazil, where we will find you a challenge in the third tier of Brazilian football with Nautico, who are from the city of Recife. Now, they have been state champions dozens of times, but they are yet to win the national title. They have been runners-up, but they now find themselves in the third tier of Brazilian football. What a bottom-to-top challenge it could be to take them all the way to Brazil, Syria and win them their first ever domestic title. Yes, I do have what it takes. Thank you, Lama. Next up is Chile, and perhaps a warning message for Luton Town, because the club, Meripia, they started in the fourth division of Chile about 10 years ago and got promoted all the way up to the Primera Division. But now in real life, they're on their way back down. In the second division, they got relegated out of football manager this year, but you can still take charge of them in FM23. Can you save Melipia from returning to whence they came? I think that was right. From Chile, next we head to Colombia, and our club is Deporte Quindío, who have a rather unusual origin story. In the 1950s, an Argentine side was on tour in Colombia, where local politicians decided they wanted to start their own football team. So they convinced the entire touring side to relocate to Colombia, and Quindío were formed. It took them just five years to win the national title, but they've not won it since. And now they're down in the second tier of Colombian football, ready for you to take charge and guide them all the way back to glory. From political intrigue to a classic big three, we're headed to Peru next, a country that has never won South America's biggest club competition, the Copa Libertadores. They've never won it, but two of their big three have made the final, Universitario and Sporting Cristal. But Alianza Lima, they've never even been to the final. You have a chance to change that. Take charge of the lost member of the big three and go all the way for Peru. And we round out South America by heading to Uruguay. And our club's suggestion is Deportivo Maldonado. Now, Uruguay is the country and football manager that is most reliant on its capital city to provide its teams in the top division 13 out of the 16 clubs in the Uruguayan Primera Division are from Montevideo. Of the three that aren't, two of them have won the national title, but Deportivo Maldonado have not. You could guide them to their first domestic title before trying to seek continental honours next. Let's continue this world tour by jetting over to Europe next, and where better place to start than Austria, where it took Zealand five seasons to win the Bundesliga with Floris Dorfer. Your challenge, can you take charge of this club and do it faster than the maestro did? <laughs> Maybe. Next up is Belgium, and it has a little known, at least outside of Belgium, division. The Dutch speaking side of Flanders 
and the French-speaking side of Wallonia, with the capital Brussels in the middle. Now, the Wallonian clubs have only had one side win a title since the 1950s. That would be standard Liège. But our recommended save is RFC Liège, who won the title in 1953. Can you build another Walloon superpower? Next, we head to Bulgaria, a nation where Ludogorets have dominated for more than a decade. In fact, the last team to win the title before them were Litex Lovec, who were relegated down to the third tier shortly afterwards after their chairman ran onto the pitch to protest about refereeing decisions in a game, pulled his side from the arena and refused to complete the game. The authorities relegated them down to the third tier. They're now back up to the second. That's the lowest playable tier in Football Manager in Bulgaria. Could you take charge of the last club to win the title before Ludogorets and try and return them to the promised land? Then next, maybe you should head to Croatia and take over Varazdin because they need your help. Since the formation of the league in Croatia in 1991, only five teams have won the Croatian Cup. Those are the five big teams that you would know, Inker, Hajduk, Dinamo, Zagreb, Osijek, and Rijeka. But Varazdin has made the cup final a stupid Tottenham level six times. Can you finally get Varazdin over the hump? Our next country is Czechia, and our club is Banica Strava. Now, back when football was organized in this part of the world in Czechoslovakia, Annika Strava were one of the most successful sides, but since the birth of Czech football, they've only won the league once. Can you guide this former great side back to the top of Czech football in a country that's dominated by Pilsen and the big clubs from Prague? Next up is Denmark, where there's a club trying to get into the top flight for the first time since 1997, Vidorwa. And this is the club that Peter Schmeichel actually played for. He scored six goals for them, and they won the title back in 1981. Can you help them get back to the glory days of old Peter Schmeichel? Next to a country where I can almost pronounce the club's names, and that is England. And our safe suggestion is poor old Hartley Paul United. Now, back in 2020, when Hollywood movie star Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds were choosing which side to invest in, they used Football Manager to create their shortlist. They boiled it down to two sides, Welsh club Wrexham and North East outfit Hartlepool United. We all know the club they chose, and whilst Wrexham have been promoted to the Football League in real life this season, poor Hartlepool have been relegated out of it. They may have missed out on millionaire owners, but they might have you as their next manager. Could you make them the most dominant club in the country? And while Hartlepool might feel like minnows, the real minnows are in Finland with a club called Salon Paloliat. Now, Salon Paloliat, they've only been to the second division of Finland twice, and they got relegated from it immediately both times. But now they've been promoted to the Finnish second division for a third time. So can you keep the ultimate minnow playing in a stadium full of 750 supporters up in the Finnish second division? A safe suggestion in France is Saint-Étienne and few clubs in world football are in as big a mess as Le Vert are. The same season as PSG overtook them as the French side that have won the top division the most times, they were relegated down to Ligue 2. And for their sins, they were also docked points for the following campaign because of the reaction of their fans to that relegation. This is a club that has been in the European Cup final and they're now struggling in the second tier of French football. What a challenge it would be to restore them to their former glories and dethrone Paris Saint-Germain. And right next to France in the alphabet, Germany in the recommended save, Dynamo Dresden. Now. East Germany had its own league going for a while, and Dinamo Dresden actually managed to win it a couple of times. But since the whole German reunification and the reunification of the leagues, Dinamo Dresden has found very little success. They're down in the Dreiliga, the third division of Germany, languishing while East German clubs like RB Leipzig and Union Berlin finally bring back some glory for Eastern Germany in the Bundesliga. It'll be a long journey, but this is a team that used to be in European semi-finals. Can you get Dinamo Dresden up to the same level as their East German counterparts. Let's warm things up by heading to Greece, where our safe suggestion is Larissa, a club with the most dedicated fans you can imagine. In 1988, Larissa amazingly topped the Greek Super League, becoming the first club from outside of Athens or Thessaloniki to win the title. 
However, they were docked four points by the FA, which meant that Ike were awarded the title instead, but so outraged was the city, never mind their supporter base, that they created roadblocks all over Greece, effectively partitioning the country into four sections that you couldn't travel between, and they refused to move until their title was reawarded to them. Fan power eventually won out. Imagine managing in front of an arena packed with such passionate fans. Speaking of passion and history, we also have that for you in the Netherlands with Sparta Rotterdam, the oldest club in the Netherlands, who in 1959 had won more titles than their hated rival Feyenoord. But just recently, Feyenoord capped off their 16th title and Sparta Rotterdam still hasn't won one since 1959. So can you reverse the fortunes of Netherlands' oldest club and topple their old hated rival? Next to Hungary, and why not take charge of Varsus, a club who are from Budapest, who used to be one of the biggest sides in the nations. In fact, they won the league five times in the late 1950s, even having an invincible season, but they've since fallen behind their Budapest rivals. But for this season, they're back playable in the top flight of Hungarian football, ready for you to take charge in your next great save adventure. But if you really have a thirst for adventure, Iceland might be where you want to go because there's a club in Iceland called IBV. Now, Iceland's already way up there and away and adrift in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But IBV is even more adrift because it is on the Westman Islands off the coast of Iceland, inhabited by just 4,000 people. Can you imagine bringing a Champions League to these tiny volcanic islands? Next, we head to Ireland, where in 2019, Limerick FC racked up such significant debts that the club was liquidated. Locals decided to form a Phoenix club known as Treaty United, and they're a playable side in the second tier in Football Manager. Could you take charge, guide them to the top of Irish football, and undo the heartbreak of losing your side and having to form a Phoenix club? And they're not the only ones that had to do that, because the same thing happened in Israel with a club called Maccabi Jaffa. This was formed by Bulgarian immigrants in 1949, but after being relegated to the fourth division in 2000, the club disbanded. It was reformed in 2007 under the same guise, and has just been promoted back into the lowest playable Israeli division in football manager. What can you do with the Bulgarian immigrant club in Israel? In Italy, we have a club that really is a little bit special. FC Sud Tyrol are actually from the German-speaking north section of Italy, just below the Alps. They've become the first club from this region to reach the giddy heights of Serie B in Italian football. But no club from the German-speaking north has ever won a Scudetto. Could you be the coach? that secures that honor. From the fringe of a country to the heart of its capital, Riga in Latvia, Riga FC specifically, is the team to manage because they live in the shadow of giants. Skanto Riga won 15 Latvian league titles. Riga FC only has three, but Skanto Riga is now defunct due to debt. But when they were at their height, they inspired a Latvian golden generation that made it to the Euros. Can you catch your former rival and inspire another golden generation in Latvia with Riga FC? This season in real life, Larn became the first club in Northern Ireland from outside the capital Belfast to win the title in more than two decades. Could you take charge of any of the other clubs in this league from outside of Belfast and turn them into the nation's most successful football club? Brina, the town in Norway, knows a little something about success. They have a club in there called Brina FK. And while they haven't necessarily been remarkable, there is a remarkable family from here. The Hollands, the dad, the Erling, the cousins, they're all from Brina, but Brina FK has never actually won the Norwegian League. They have finished runners up two times. Can you channel a wonderful golden generation from your town into Norwegian glory? In Poland, there is a club called Wisła Kraków who have no business playing at such a low level. They've been to a European Cup quarterfinals. They've won the national title on 13 different occasions. But after a brush with bankruptcy, they are now down in the second tier. This really is one of the giants of Polish football who are just crying out for you to take over 
and guide them back to the big time. Next, in Portugal, there is a lot of drama around a club called Salgueiros. Now, Salgueiros is in the fourth division. They play in the city of Oporto in the shadow of Porto FC. But that wasn't always the case. In the 1990s, Salgueiros was in the top flight and playing in Europe as well. But the government of Oporto decided it wasn't a good idea to have two major clubs in their city as it would distract from Porto FC. So they took their stadium and turned it into a subway station. Homeless, no place to play, Salgueiros slipped back down the standings. Can you undo this injustice and bring Salgueiros back to level terms with Porto? In Romania, Universitata were once the biggest club in Transylvania. They spent 56 years of their history in the top flight without ever winning it, whilst at the same time, they've watched their city rivals Cluj win the title eight times in the last 15 years. Surely it would be a great time for you to take charge and reverse the fortunes of this club and take Universitata to the title. In Scotland, there is your very own Luton Town opportunity with a club called Bonnie Rig Rose. They have been promoted into the bottom division and have an awesome name. But in the Scottish league system, which is in the top four flights, basically the same as England's, there's never been a club that's gone from the fifth division to the Premiership. But if you want Bonnie Rig Rose to be that club, you have to catch Cove in the top flight in Kilty in Edinburgh in League One. You have to catch and pass them on your way to the Premiership before they get there, so you can be the first team to go from the fifth to the first tier. For Serbia, we're gonna give you a real challenge because let's be honest, in a nation containing Red Star and partisan life is always going to be tough. And for those smaller clubs, you've gotta take your opportunity for glory when it arises. And for Javor Ivanjakar, that opportunity came in 2016. And this club that had spent most of its existence in the second tier of Yugoslav and then Serbian football made it all the way to the Serbian Cup final. However, they lost that final 2-0 to Partizan. So maybe you could take charge of this club that experienced heartbreak. These minnows are looking for a manager that can win them a first trophy. Maybe that's atoning for that defeat in the 2016 Cup final. Or well, who knows, maybe it's even a surprise victory in the Serbian top flight league. Just a bit north in Slovakia, you can manage a club that harkens back to Hungarian roots in Danajska Streda. This is the club of Slovakia's Hungarian community. They play the Hungarian national anthem before games, they're provided subsidies by the Hungarian government, and they're getting pretty good. Last year, they were the runners-up in the league. So can you bring home a trophy for an expat community in Slovakia at Danajska Streda? In Slovenia, top-flight football has been dominated by two clubs in recent years, Olympia, and Maribor, but one of the third giants of Slovenian football, Gorica. Well, they won three titles in a row between 2003 and 2006. Alas, they've not won one yet. Could you take charge of Gorica and turn them back into the nation's title winners? And who knows, maybe you could win a first continental honor for a club from Slovenia. In Spain, you can play with a club that only signs players from their specific region. No, not that one. A team called UE Olot. And Olot play in the fourth division. They were relegated in real life, so this is your only chance to play as them in FM23. And they have a Catalan only policy, just like the Basque only policy of Athletic Bilbao, but the region's a little further south. It's the same region Barcelona's in. And if you want to do a local save in that region, Olot is your opportunity. The most interesting save in Sweden is at Ustersund, where under Graham Potter, they roared up the leagues. But since then, they've been relegated back down to the second tier and they have problems off the pitch as well as on it, as their chairman stands accused of embezzlement. They tasted the big time for all too brief a period. Maybe you could become their next coach, return them back to the old Svenskan and win Ustersund, their first ever Swedish title. But Sometimes there are teams that win a lot of titles that just can't seem to win them anymore. And that's the case in Switzerland with a team called Basel, who you've probably heard of. They won eight straight Swiss league titles from 2010 to 2017. But what you might not know is they haven't won one since and they've faded into mid table so severely they missed qualifying for any European competition for next season. This is your opportunity to bring them back to those glory days at the top of the Swiss League. In Turkey, there is a challenge waiting for you at a tiny club called Umrania Spor, who amazingly have been promoted to the top flight for the first time in their history 
despite having a stadium that only holds 1,600 spectators. They are in the shadow of some great clubs as they are based in Istanbul. But you would have to try and overtake the likes of Fenerbahce, Besiktas and Galatasaray in order to try and win a Turkish league title with this tiny little outfit. What a challenge that could be. In Ukraine, there's a club called Kornomorets Odessa. And this club, in the final year of the United Soviet League, finished higher than any other Ukrainian team. But it never won a Soviet League title, and it has never won a Ukrainian League title either. Can you bring this black seaport club to the top of the Ukrainian game where it so briefly resided? And for our final side in Europe, we're heading to Wales and you don't need me to suggest a save idea. Why don't we hear from the chairman himself? Hi there, FM Gamers. Uh, this is Rob Edwards, chairman of Hanford West County, playing in the Welsh Premier League. Uh, as a lifelong football manager fan, I always dreamed of being on the game, but I never imagined it would be as a chairman. Although I can't bring myself to, to manage my own team, there's a number of reasons why you should. Uh, we're a team full of full of hungry youngsters, lots of potential. The league itself attracts those that probably haven't made it in, in senior clubs and gives them an opportunity to come and express themselves. And of course, you have a chairman who's, whose door is always open. But please don't ask for a new contract in September. And if you're looking for more save ideas or indeed tactics videos, Wonder Kids videos or how to tutorials, then you could always head over to the Manager's Seat YouTube channel and find that little button. It says subscribe. Join up, hit the bell, receive notifications when we release our next videos that might help you become a better football manager. And if you actually pull off all of these saves, you may be the greatest football manager player of all time. But enjoy the saves and bye bye for now.